Clash of Clans has many cosmetics, obstacles, and stats. Raw numbers. But some are far more impressive than others, and today, we're taking a look at the biggest flexes in Clash of Clans. Things that make the panties drop. Starting with this rock. Yes, a rock. But this one is unlike any other. You've most likely seen it before, as the rock is a bit of a celebrity in the Clash world and in real life. What makes this rock a really big flex is the fact that it only spawned in bases between June and July 2012. I mean, who the hell was playing back then? It was during the game's soft launch. The thing is, the very few people that were playing back then didn't even know that this would one day become one of the rarest obstacles ever, so most players just gladly removed it. Like, what's the big deal? It's a rock. So, if you have this rock, it's a symbol of true dedication and just shows how OG you are. Speaking of OG things, you've probably seen these screenshots floating around Reddit. Players flexing how long they've been playing this goddamn game. You can easily look at this by going to your Google Play Games or Game Sensor achievements and looking at the bigger Kofers achievement. The closer you are to August 2012, the bigger the flex. But now that we're on the topic of achievements, it reminded me of back in the day when having a 2 bill and gold grab was one of the biggest flexes you could have. And while nobody talks about it anymore, if you reach 2 billion on the gold grab or elixir escape aid achievement, I still believe it's a status symbol. Once you reach 2 billion, you can finally say some dumb sh like, I farmed so much, the game stopped counting. <laughs> But before we move on from achievements entirely, there is one more thing that is undoubtedly a massive flex. Completing every achievement. That's right, there are players out there with every achievement complete. Green bars? <laughs> I don't even know what that is, man. Let's talk about skins and sceneries. None of them are actually rare due to everything showing up in the shop nowadays, but if for whatever reason you have every single one of them, that is one heck of a flex, and also possibly a problem. But who cares? Just make sure you use code havoc. But there are some that are pure status symbols, flexes, the Gucci belts of Clash of Clans. Pretty much any leak skin you get from the Clan World League shop. 2,000 Clan World League medals for a skin? Hell no, bro! The only reason I'd ever buy it is to flex. Same goes for that scenery at 2,400 medals. God damn! The only reason someone would actually buy these is if they genuinely like them, like really like them, and not because of anything else, don't have anything else to spend the medals on or to flex. Okay, I gotta stop saying flex like that. You know what else you can buy in a league shop? These statues. Now, they all feel like flexes, let's be real. Most people would get like a hammer or other magic items, you know, something normal. But the more expensive the statue, the bigger the flex. And it's not entirely because of the cost either. They start to require you to be in specific clan leagues, and reaching masters or champions is not that easy. According to statistics, most clans are in silver or gold, and just 1% of clans reach masters. So with that being said, the bigger the statue, the bigger the flex. You know what else is big and hard? The Builder Statue. <laughs> There's something unique about this statue in that it was the first statue that you could buy with real money. Now when it comes to anything being first in a game as ancient as Clash of Clans, it's bound to be old as hell, and that it is. 2017 was seven years ago. The next exclusive decoration wouldn't be released until two years later, making the Builder Statue a one of a kind flex. Let's take a break from stuff you have to buy. What about other kinds of flexes? You know, like being the number one player in the leaderboards. But you don't have to be the number one player to flex on them hoes. Being anywhere in the leaderboard is already a big flex. Trust me. I uh, know. No, let's not get into that. And hey, local leaderboards count too. You know how hard it is to have your name anywhere in the leaderboards? It's no easy achievement. But even if you didn't make it, at least you'll come back down with some badass purple trophies in your profile. The ultimate flex. Unless you're a really high town hall. <laughs> it's still a flex though. On a similar note, having a perfect day in Legends League is also a common flex among those who never touch grass. Can't be me though, because I suck at this game. But goddamn, that's impressive as hell. You know what else is more impressive? Mastering a strategy. Being able to look at a base, make some army adjustments, and get a 3 star like what? Is it really that easy for some people? I'm motherfucking peanut butter and jealous. Speaking of individual player achievements, having a really high player level is pretty badass and probably one of the most useless flexes, but it looks badass anyway. You can't tell me being level 500 is nothing. <laughs> 
But how about being maxed? Doesn't matter if you're Town Hall 3, 8, 16, being maxed and staying there for a couple of days so everyone knows you're maxed has got to be one of the most original flexes in the game. It will never not feel good to be 100% maxed, but probably the biggest self-accomplishment flex is being free to play. Man, you almost really feel like Adam and Eve next to the world's tastiest apple tree because damn, there's an offer in the shop like every minute of the day. The gold pass, Archer Queen skins, how did you guys do it? I don't know, but that's gotta be one of the most underrated flexes in Clash of Clans. Never spending a dime in a game that is always tempting you to do so, that's impressive. Okay, I think I've been ignoring it long enough. Special obstacles. Since 2012, Supercell has been adding obstacles that only spawn for that season, like Christmas, Halloween, New Year's, and anniversary. Now, generally, the older the obstacle, the bigger the flex. <laughs> That's how it goes, right? But anything five years older is pretty impressive as well. The oldest Halloween obstacles are the Scary Pumpkin, Cauldron, and Headstone. The cakes, they started spawning in 2017. I don't think anyone ever considered considers these a big flex. Same goes for the New Year's one, but I guess the first one is always the best since you got like the one that started it all, you know? Then there's the spiky cactus. Despite spawning in late 2018, many consider it pretty rare due to it spawning for a short period of time and most players only getting one. Some removed it assuming another one would spawn and for a lot of players, that never happened. So having one of these bad boys is kind of a flex. I mean, I don't even have one. But finally, the Christmas tree, the oldest of them all. Generally anything before like 2020 is considered a flex nowadays, I guess. But if you have any tree 2015 or older, you know, that is a major flex. Especially the 2012 one, which of course is the rarest one. Five years ago, a developer posted on Reddit that only about 2,000 accounts had this tree. So if you got it, you're definitely getting some bitches. Speaking of Christmas, there is one more thing that is pretty dang impressive. Presents. Yes, Christmas presents. <laughs> if you happen to get attacked by someone using a Santa surprise throughout the years or a birthday boom spell, they would have left presents behind and you could keep them for as long as you didn't tap them. <laughs> yeah, if you tap one, they're all gone. The yellow ones are an even bigger flex though, because that spell was only available in 2017. Seven years of trying not to touch them. But despite these cool flexes, there's an even more impressive one. These presents. Now, at first glance, they look the exact same, but they're not. These presents spawn alongside the 2014 Christmas tree. Now, I think it goes without saying, but 10 years without accidentally clicking on it, I could never. What a beautiful day to farm. Nah, but luckily the ones that spawn with the tree disappear one by one rather than the entire set. All right, now to wrap this video up, I wanted to talk about a couple of cool flexes that never really get mentioned, like having a custom profile picture. You can get one of these through the creator program, and even though I personally don't see it as a flex, it still feels odd when I see it in the game. <laughs> like, what the f that's my logo right there. Then there's short player and clan tags. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure no one cares about this one unless you're a person with a short tag, but basically the older your account, the shorter the tag. For reference, the most accounts today have nine or 10 digits, but on older accounts, this can be as low as three. The same concept applies to clans as well. The older the clan, the shorter the tag. For those who like weird stats or clash history, this is a pretty unique flex. But yeah, that's about everything I could think of. Of course, there are other things that can count as flexes too. Let me know what you think I missed or what are some of your biggest flexes, your biggest accomplishments? As always, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace.